What we're going to be looking at is another example of a Brownian motion question. So this is a past paper question from 2013 OCR Physics A. Okay, well, figure 6.1, the one just here, shows the apparatus used to observe Brownian motion using pollen grains suspended in a liquid. So we have a microscope down here and that's uh, looking down at some pollen grains suspended in a liquid. What we're going to be observing is that those pollen grains are actually going to be moving randomly about. And uh, the reason they're doing that is because they're interacting with the smaller molecules of the, um, of the water. Okay, well, let's see. State two conclusions that may be deduced about the molecules of the liquid from the motion of the pollen grains. Uh, just as an aside, as an explanation, what, is, what are the pollen grains actually doing? So, uh, I'm just going to draw this a little bit bigger. So, let's say that these over here are our pollen grains. Now, they're going to be moving randomly. So, maybe this one is going to be going this way. This one is going to be going this way etc. So they're not going to have a preferred direction. The reason they're moving randomly is because they are colliding with the liquid molecules, which are also moving randomly. Okay, so this will be our first marking point that we can write over here, is that the molecules of the liquid will be moving randomly. So let's just say that the molecules of the liquid are moving randomly. Additionally, we also know that we cannot see the liquid molecules, we can only see the pollen grain uh, particles. Well, if that's the case, that means that the molecules of the liquid must be a lot smaller than the uh, pollen grains. Okay, so let's just write that. So the molecules of the liquid are smaller than the pollen grains. Okay, perfect. Now let's have a look at the uh, final example. Suggest so how the motion of these pollen grains could be increased. The only way you're going to make them uh, increase their, um, their amplitude of vibration or their motion is to increase their temperature or to increase the temperature of the liquid. So uh, we could just write this down. So it's just a one marker question. Increase the temperature of the liquid. And as you can imagine, the mark spread here is uh, one mark for each statement and one mark for the final one. Okay guys, so hopefully this question makes sense. Drop a comment down below if there are any problems or you would like me to explain anything further.